Hi, my name is Mark Toludo, and I'm going to help you get the Live Code Event app working with your own Live Cloud account. The first thing we're going to do is open up the stack that you downloaded. I'll be running on Live Code 7. You're presented with the application that's designed to run on a mobile device, as well as a guide that will help you set up the connection to your Live Cloud account. Now, if you don't have a Live Cloud account yet, you're going to want to start here. From here, you can download the Live Cloud Manager. This will take you to our website where you can choose the platform you need. I already have the Live Cloud Manager downloaded, so I can skip this step. If you're new, you'll have to sign up for your account. It's very quick and easy. Otherwise, we're going to continue on to the next step. And this is where we'll create our databases. I'm going to boot up Live Cloud Manager now. I have already created my account, so I'm going to log in. As you can see, I do not have any databases at this time. So what you need to do is replicate all these names as databases. And when you click on each of these buttons, it will copy the schema keys necessary for each of those databases. So we'll start with comments. The keys are now on my clipboard. All I have to do is press the paste button. And yes, and these keys are pasted inside of our database. We'll save it and tell the Live Cloud Manager we need to make another database. Event. And we will continue this process until each of the databases has been made. When we're all done, we can click the Done button instead of New DB. It'll take us to a list of all the databases we've created for this project. The next step is we need to teach our program that we have a database. So we're going to export our SDK. So if we open up our code folder, we'll leave that open for now. We'll export our SDK to this folder. And inside, you will find that a Cassia DB folder was created with libraries and a preferences file. To activate the SDK within your program, you need this code. I'm going to click the Copy to Clipboard button. This code is now on my clipboard. For this project, we are going to paste the code into our stack script. I'll paste it right here for now. As you can see, we already had a pre-opened stack handler with important code inside of it. So I'm not going to need this one after I copy or cut this out and I'll paste it right in here. And we can get rid of this extraneous code right here. Now this custom command will call this handler right here. And this will initialize Live Cloud every time your program starts for you. There's nothing in here for you to do other than that. So we'll save our work. And we will quit live code. And we will run our program again. And if we open up our project browser, we will notice that the libraries are now in place along with our program.
and our database is ready to work. We'll go back to our guide. Either way, either of these buttons will bring you to this option, which we've completed. And then next, we're going to import our data. We're supplying you with some sample data for your project. Clicking on this button will automatically upload it to your Live Cloud account. We can verify this by going into our database summary, clicking the sync button, and we'll notice that we now have a new record in our event database. We can view the record and see it's the keynote by Kevin. I'm going to click cancel now. As we continue over here, we will find that a new record ID was created for this account. And you'll notice this record ID matches the record ID in your Live Cloud Manager. Clicking Complete Setup, there are other helpful buttons that will teach you more about Live Cloud Manager and the Live Cloud service. The thing that is most important for this project is our Code Explorer. From here, you can see how we used all these different functions in this project, and it will take you right to where that call is being made in the code base. And you can learn more about how we did what we did. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to post comments on our website.